been formed. Okay, how this equation has been formed. Okay, it's, it's not like I, I know all of you come from college. In the college, this is the formula. Let's go, plug it in. We are good to go. The problem is this you will not know when it does not work and when it does work. Okay. So that's where I want I want you I want you all to embrace what you guys are getting into in a university education. Okay. Now not all profet or not all teachers will teach like this. Okay. Some some teachers will teach like in the college way because it's very complex to explain. Fine with that. I'm fine with that. Okay. But for this topic, you have to know. Okay. You really really have to know. Okay. So we are going to I'm going to take this diagram again. I'm going to paste this. In. Now we are going to find. Uh, we are going to start from from the formula. OK, we're going to start the formula. So we, we start like shear X, Y. And we're going to start. That shear X, Y. Is equal to V, Y. Over I, Z, Z. Q Z divided by T. Okay. So we 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 now know, right, that we have a V Y coming from the top. Okay. So that is our V Y, and then I'm going to sketch my Q. So all these error I've done are my Q. Okay. So we are going to find. So we when we apply rule number one, right? V and Q are constant. Uh, not V and Q. How I wish is Q. V and I are constant. Okay. So we know we know our vy. The next thing we want to find our izz, which we did already. Okay. So zz is the uh, axis of interest. Anything down here. This is your width. Any geometry that's perpendicular, right? This is perpendicular to the axis. This is your what? Your depth. Okay. So this is equal to width depth cube divided by 12. So your width over here is B. Your depth is your 2C cube over 12. So this is equal to uh, B 8C cube over 12. So this is equal to 2 third BC cube. Okay, that's your IZZ. Then the next thing we are going to look at is the QZ. Is equal to A Y bar. Okay, the area. So to, to find the, the, the area, okay, to find the area, right? So area is equal to width times depth, right? So the width is B the depth? Okay, so if you look at this diagram, okay, the depth is equal to C minus Y. Small C, sorry, C minus Y. Okay, C minus Y. Now with this. We're going to have rule number two. Okay, rule number two. Okay, rule number two. Okay, so rule number two is the datum is the datum is at the centroid. Global. Why I say that? 
why by looking at this equation uh, I say that so everything that we measure down here how do we measure y right how do we measure y y is measured from the what from the z axis so over here this is our datum okay you can see that is our datum okay then also comes uh, rule number three <laughs> Okay, at the same time, it comes rule number three. Rule number three, right, it's a simple equation like this, okay, but you can get two rules. Rule number three is the analysis right, analysis will be carried out Okay, when from y variable is at x maximum. Okay. So what do I mean by that? Okay, so we know over here. Right, you know, over here, from here to here, where I'm drawing in red now, I think it's red, or is it in green? I think it's in red. No, green. This is where our Y max is. Right? So the analysis will start from Y max and come towards the what? Centroid. So this is the analysis direction. Okay, that is the analysis direction. If you start from the bottom, right? This is your analysis direction. Okay, that is the analysis direction. Okay. So next, we are going to find our Y bar. So y bar is the distance, right? You can see down here, this is our y bar, right? So y bar is equal to c plus y multiplied by half. Okay. Now, uh, don't memorize all this. Okay. Don't like. I I I I know now is open book. Okay. Open computer. Open Google. Okay. Open whatever. Fine. When we go back, you, you you don't have a lot of things open already. I only allow you to bring your textbook, for example. Okay, open textbook, for example. Right? Now the thing is, if you cannot remember, what can you do? Okay. Why is it y bar equal to c plus y times half? So you just put in numbers. Okay. So let's say you don't look at the formula. Okay. So if y is equal to uh I, I put y is equal to two. Right, that position down there is two. The, I've written in pink, and this is six. Right? Can anyone tell me what is y bar equal to? Anyone? Can anyone make a guess without looking at the formula? Five. So, huh? Five? Five. That is not a very good guess. <laughs> Can someone make a guess? So there's two, six. The average is what? Or or at the center is what? Four, four. Yeah, four. Oh, four. Right? So how you get four? Oh, four? Right? If you if you plug okay, it yeah. in, so C is equal to what? If you plug it in, okay. So let's let's say if we plug it in, so this is equal to uh four or six plus two multiplied by half, the answer is equal to what? Four. You are right. <laughs> now now you see why the, the, the formula stands. Okay, now why the formula stands. Okay, so from here, we know our expression for QZ is equal to B C minus Y 
T plus Y multiplied by half. Okay. So this will be equal to B over 2. C squared minus by Y squared. Okay. C squared over by Y squared. So now we have everything already. Okay. So now we are going to substitute our formula y shear x y is equal to shear y x so this is equal to uh vy is constant divided by i z z is equal to 2 over 3 uh, b c cube right then we have our uh, b over 2, c squared minus y squared. Okay. And then we know that the thickness is equal to b. Okay. We know that thickness is equal to b. So now we can, uh, we can get rid of the b. Right, and then we expand the term. You have uh, b y, or you have three b y over four. Okay, uh, b c cube, and then you have c squared minus by y squared. Okay. Then from here, I'm going to let. Uh, the cross-sectional area A is equal to 2BC, right? If you look at uh, the structure, Y, Y max minus Y bar Y max, Y bar, okay. Y max minus Y bar. Talan prick, where? Yeah, you're talking about this one, right? Am I right? C plus Y, Y bar. Where you get the Y? Uh, Talan prick, can you talk? Oh, you are okay already. I, I, the distance to C prime, right? So the distance to, to C prime is C plus Y times half, not C minus Y. Okay, and I'll just show you Y down here. This is the formula that you're concerned about, right? Am I right? Can you please, uh, can, could you please again how area, okay. So you want to find this area over here, right? So the width is B, right? The distance between here to here is equal to C minus Y, right? Because this is C and this is Y. Okay, is that okay? Or oh, that's uh, Nimranta. Yes, is that okay for you? Just uh, use a uh, sign to type yes or whatever. Okay, Taran Prick, regarding the, the distance, do you understand? Makes sense. Okay, I think we need to go for a break. I think you all are tired because I'm not. I'm. 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 I'm almost done explaining the theory, and we can go and do one example. Okay. So go for a 15 minutes break, and we come back.